What's up guys? I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 98 on this beast. Um, this is the Gateway E4610 um, series. Um, they had a bunch of them online when I got this during the summer. There was like a slimline version. There was a uh, there were plenty of towers. This one I did this I customized it myself. Adding two uh, DVD drawers, I replaced the floppy disk with um, a USB. Just to show you how easy it is to open this up, just open up the door. Here we have it. Um, here are the hard drive. Um, hard drives um, I put one here actually um, so I have one hard drive here and the other ones right here um, and here is the graphics card I use the ATI graphics card I heard this wasn't a real popular one but um, thing was this was more of a step up of the voodoo I think it was Voodoo 2000. It does run games at good frame rate, and I do love it. And it's very smooth. Um, it's not one of the best ones, but I do like it. And it was affordable. Um, sound card is below here. And yeah, so. Right here, it's a diagonal um, card right here. Um, so, I mean, it's a pain. I don't really want to take it out right now, but I will leave a link in the description below of where you could get one of these. Um, the graphics card, on the other hand, I don't know if you can find one because... Um, it was the last one that I found on Amazon, so it was the only one left. <laughs> so, and in case I somehow come across it on a different site, I'll leave a link. And, uh, yeah. Now, here's the thing with, with installing Windows 98 on this. Um, I've tested this. Installing a regular copy of Windows 98, it will install but the problem is you're going to run into a ram issue now there is a patch online yes um now but once you go into the actual windows of the operating system the problem is you're going to of course have issues with the drivers um and i tried this several times kept crashing didn't work and i thought you know, maybe th there was no way around of installing, Wind um, installing Windows 98 until I came across this other operating system that someone custom they customized it, and um, it's an easier way of installing Windows 98. Now, there is a later version of the installation. I could I I didn't test it out yet, but I tested out the old ones. I tried to install it on this machine. I had nothing but issues with the installation. However, there is a workaround with it. You have to um, use um, um, the 86 box, and the 86 box will help install the operating system. And once you install the operating system, you have to copy the files and put it on a USB. And then um, after that, you put it onto the hard drive that you want to install Windows 98 on. Then after that, you have to, of course, reinstall Windows 98 on it um, the old-fashioned way. And you does you don't actually have to, um, fact you know, format it. So yeah, so I'll get started on that and show you. So, I have the quick install of Windows 98 here on the USB. I'm going to plug that in. All right. So, this is going to be, if it works, 
you know, I'll be shocked because I actually never actually saw saw it installed before. So. to get to the boot thing. There we go. All right. So go to the USB flash drive. Okay. Okay. Welcome to um, Windows 98 quick install. Okay. So it looks like it would work, looks like. So, see what happens. Um, um, install operating system, partition. Let me see what would happen. Okay, so I do remember it's this is where I actually made my partitions with the uh, running the uh, Windows 98. Um, when I made these partitions, I used the um, F disk that was on Windows 98 disk. So I'm not sure if um, if I could actually, you know, just do a regular format. Um, let me just see if I could try. It. Right. So it is installed on the Toshiba one, the third, the 30 gigabyte. So I'm going to use this. Um, would you like to format it? Yes. You have chosen partition. Would you like to overwrite that and set partition active? Yes. Um, including all um, I really am not sure with this part, so Maybe fall in hardware in, in detection. Would you like to install the integrated device drivers? Yes. Okay. It looks like it's working. I mean, before I would go through crashes. So, yeah. All right. So, usually in this case, when you're installing through a Linux, you have to remove um, the device. All right. So, yeah, let's reboot and see what happens. So, Windows 98 is fully installed. Um, graphics drivers, sound drivers, all installed. Just make sure you install DirectX 9 before installing the drivers that you want in order to make them work. Um, now, there is an issue. Um, but before I say anything, um, here's the creator of this mod. Now, the problem is, right here, that it's using too much RAM. Um, and that is a problem because you can't run DOS games. And I'll show you what I mean. 
now. So you want to run this? DOS slash 16 error, not enough memory to load programs. So how could we fix this? The way um, to fix this is that um, is that I did provide a mod to this. Um, so right here. So the way you do this is that um, you have to copy this. Copy. You need the. Um, it's called hi-memx.exe. Okay. So you go to your C drive, go to Windows, Show, and then you want to paste it in here. All right. Okay. So now that's pasted. The next step you want to do is open up the config um, dot system. And the way you do that, you go open with. Um, you go to Notepad. Okay, as you see, it's blank. There's nothing to it. Now, in my version, uh, so have to open up the same way. Open. Nope. Notepad. Now you see. I'm gonna leave this here. I'll show you what I wrote. Device equals C, and then so on, so on. So, and it's not long. You could just you could type it in. Just I'm gonna copy it, paste, and I'm gonna save it. Okay. Um. So yeah. Um, what we do is, next step, shut down, and you're going to restart. So, this is going to take a while. So, I will pause this, and I will come back. Alright, so we're back. Um, go ahead, okay. All right. So yes, we have fixed the RAM issue. All right. Now, what um, we could do now is we could run DOS games. So we're going to go here. Go to C. Um, because I have blood installed. What I want to do is I want to go to the setup. Alright. So I'm going to set this up quickly. I'll put it on pause. Okay, so I set up the sound. The screen setup, you know, I just recommend using 640 by 480. That is a recommendation I prefer when playing old DOS games. Up and launch. As you see, it's running. Uh, I mean, so I'm going to get the cutscene. Hard to play with one hand. Oh, I got him. All right. Nope. Can't see. There we go. All right. So, um, it runs pretty good. Um, there is more you could do to this. You know, with modifications, just always remember to always have backup save backup and um, before you keep going further but that's um, it um, that's how 
I got Windows 98 running on this uh, this hardware. Um, and like I said, this was a little bit of a surprise for me because I actually did not never experience the quick install to work for me like this because I've always went using the hard way around with going through the 86 box and doing the long way, but no, this works. So yeah, I will leave files below in the description and you guys, um, you know, uh, I will leave the, 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 um, I'll leave the, the guy's um, page in the description below of where to get the files and yeah.